What is going on? All oh, you amazing viewers to play later. How are we doing today? Have a great night. Your dice rolling good for you. Your campaign's falling in your favor. Boy, I hope so. Maybe you're getting in some great times on the paint table and having some good paint sessions. But good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good whatever time it is when y'all watching this video right here. That's right. The boys from OnlyGames.co are back on the channel, this time with their Stormbringers Berserker Squad. I saw it and I went, talk about a unit of blood claws. Right there. Oh dear God, yes. Blood claws with a different look to it, with a savage, more vikingly look. We gotta have them. But you know, before we can play, we gotta be adults, right? I know, I know. Save the booing, save the hissing. I know. But first up is a word from our unofficial sponsor. So there I was, 23 years old, prime in my life. I woke up one morning, looked in the mirror, and my hair was thinning. It was all falling out. It wasn't until I discovered this one solution that changed everything. My first initial thought was, it's gotta be genetics, right? It's not my fault, this is genetic. Go and find out, I'm not the only one dealing with thinning hair and confidence issues. And it was nuts because we started to change everything in our routine. We started looking at what we were putting in our bodies, what we were eating, how much water we were intaking, and then we started working out and taking care of ourselves, but still something was missing. But also what we put on our body is drastically important to our skin and hair health. So we ditched all of those chemical fill products. We started using healthy, organic ingredients and took it upon myself to start creating these organic ingredient products to help people. I have a solution for you. Ditch all of those chemical fill products and grab something that's organic, natural, handmade, something that your family will thank you and your health will thank you. Make the switch today. Great company, great dude. Seriously, click that link down below. It's gonna bring you right to his web store. If you're into smelling good, looking good, feeling good, you're gonna wanna do that. Plus, abuse that viewer exclusive discount code he gave you guys. Seriously, it is for you. Have fun making him lose money. <laughs> Hi, Johnny, if you're watching, by the way. Hi! <laughs> okay, so as of Thursday, August 8th, 2024, this unit of 10 Berserker Squad is $34.95 over on OnlyGames.co. I get it. It's a big price, but when you factor in like G-Dub and other stuff and what I paid for a unit of 15 blood claws, that's a pretty good price. <clears throat> now, I did order two sets in case I didn't like the looks of certain things on this set. I also ordered more backpacks from another third-party 3D printer in New Jersey that I have already talked about. Because I thought maybe there'd be a way to get the backpacks on these guys, and there really wasn't. But still. Let's get to the managers. I know you're like, this is why we're here. We want to see the managers. I am happy to say most of them came unbroken. There was only two broken bits. One of them I was able to secure no problem. The other, yeah, as you can hear, couldn't get that hammer secured. But there is basically a pack leader. Okay, I like the look of it. I like the cloaks. I like the vi the Viking feel from the upper part up. I like the fact that he's got power armor down below. It just screamed blood claw to me. Seriously, it did. Or maybe an assault intercessor because they're a unit of 10. This could be my assault. Well, excuse me. Yeah, my assault intercessors. Because Logan Grimnar has finally got that freaking fork out of his butt and went, we'll take Call's gift. I can't even believe what he had to feel talking to the Legion Breaker, but still. But that is the pack leader. I like the fact he's got the axe. He's got the ice claws. It just screams, like, let's get up in your face and break something. Okay. There was no real way to put shoulder pads on him. So I just didn't. Now is when we get into the tricky stuff, okay? Some of these guys really look the same. So you're going to have to forgive me if I don't show them all off. So here's another one, which I did put a shoulder pauldron on. Okay. It looked like it fit okay, but I couldn't really see any good areas to get a power plant on the back. So for these guys, they don't have them. I just have 20 backpacks that I can use in future project, you know, projects, right? So he's got the double ice claws. He's just running in. He just looks like he wants to bring the pain. I'm good with that. All right. Now. 
this is where, for me, I went, ha, huh, you starting to choke yourself? The way he has both arms back, like he's pulling the Wolverine symbol where he's about to run in and start sacking and slashing. The way that went on the back, you know you're not going to get a power plant on there. But still, there is a different variation of him. So, yeah. This is the guy I couldn't get the hammer to go on. So guess what? You got a bolter. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I just clipped it off the jump pack um, assault intercessor, jump pack assault intercessor, and glued it on him. As you can see, there was a bit of a mishap there, but anywho. So there he is running in with his bolter and his power axe. Remember, we're in a land of free war gear, so it's called a relic weapon. Just saying. I like the look of it. Close combat, getting up in there. Yeah. And now we start almost getting repetitive. Like I said, almost. When they had their own, you know, like shoulder pauldrons molded on, I just went with the other one. Here's one running in with a shield and a warhammer. I don't know, these could be great gray slayers for the Horus Heresy. Something to think about. See where I said it almost gets a little bit repetitive. But, okay. Yeah, most of these guys, from that point out, pretty much are. Except for someone like him. I like the more open stance, like he's just running at somebody new. There was something about these guys that really, really drew me in. I can't wait to get them painted up. Can't wait to get them fielded because they're going to be something different on my tabletop. And I always want that. I always want a weird look to my Space Wolf Force because they never really adhered to the Codex Astartes. They really despise the Legion Breaker. And they are about bringing the pain as hard, as fast, and as quick as possible right to you. So those guys just look like that's what they're there to do. Point and let them run. All right. So we are at the best part of the video. I know I only showed you like five out of the ten. Like I said, they kind of get repetitive. I mean, like, this dude, instead of having two ice claws, he's got two axes. But the same stuff. No big deal. Simple little switches. Same body pose, little switches. Like I said, but we're at the best part of the video. I want to know your questions, comments, love, hatred, anger, all that fun stuff right down below. Have you bought anything from OnlyGames.co to get to you and integrate into your force? They're great for bits. They're great for interesting miniatures. There's a whole bunch of stuff I've been looking at and going, oh, dear God, yes. I really want that in my force. It just looks phenomenal, you know? It adds something totally different, and it challenges you paint-wise because you're not used to, okay, power armor, okay, this for the lenses, okay, this for this. you got to think outside the box. A half-power armor, half-brutally naked Viking running at you? Just saying. Now, if I made you laugh, made you cringe, made you cry, made you do any of that while filming this video, and it's me, so I know that I did, hit that big thumbs up. It's going to do a couple things for free. Seriously, it really is. It's going to give you good karma. You're putting out good, you're going to get good back. It's going to help me trigger that algorithm, which is always important as a YouTuber, and you're going to show love and support for the channel, which, thank you, means a lot to me. Also, if you're a first-time viewer of my channel, take a look around. You're going to find a lot of interesting videos that are unbiased and a weird look at some newer products from a dude who got out of the hobby back when Warhammer turned from 2nd edition to 3rd. Just saying. But there we go, guys. My quick weird look at OnlyGames.co, Stormbringers, Berserker Squad. I want to thank you guys for watching this one. Hope you're having a great day today. Hope you're having a safe day today. And Emperor willing, one day, real soon, we'll be rolling dice across the tabletop. <laughs>